and now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, as far as your calendar is concerned, the first day of summer, astronomical summer, is on June 20th. But as far as weather records are concerned, today is the first day of summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. It is comprised of June, July, and August. And June is the month that we obviously kick off the season of summer. Our normal high starts out at 73 today, and by the end of the month, it hits 80. But we're going to be looking at some midsummer heat as we head through the next seven days already. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Close to 80 tomorrow, 80s to around 90 then for Thursday and Friday. And then it looks like most locations will be in either the upper 80s or lower 90s for Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Right now, we have mainly 70s out there. It's a little bit cooler near Lake Michigan with southeast winds at around 10 to 15 miles per hour, but still holding on to almost 80 in Wapaka. We had a mixture of clouds and sunshine today, but you can see the shower coming in here just within the last half an hour or so. And there's the hawk in case you missed him. <laughs> he was there admiring the shower, which he thought was going to be a thunderstorm, but it has weakened a little bit as it has pushed off towards the east. You can see we still have some briefly heavy rain here north and west of Wrightstown to around Seymour coming into the northwestern part of Brown County. This activity is moving east northeast. There are a couple more showers out across central Wisconsin as well. So there will be that chance for a hit or miss shower as we head through the next three to six six hours or so, and then things will probably clear out a bit after that. Overall, high pressure, our main weather maker today. That's why we had a lot of sunshine and pleasant conditions. But there's another system approaching from the north and west that'll make its way into the Great Lakes tomorrow, giving us a chance for a shower or perhaps a thunderstorm. But really, the big story is the big heat that's going to be building. We had temperatures in the 70s to around 80 today away from the lake. But across the central and northern plains this afternoon, temperatures were in the 80s, and that heat is moving in our direction. Tomorrow, look for highs about three to four degrees warmer than what we saw today, upper 70s to lower 80s. We'll have a mixture of sun and clouds. And once again, much like today, we'll have a chance for a hit or miss shower or thunderstorm as that heat starts to build. And we'll see more of the same as we head into Thursday as well, sun and clouds with maybe a shower or a thunderstorm, but much warmer temperatures getting up into the mid 80s by the afternoon. Really, that's just the beginning of this heat wave that is headed our way. Along with hot temperatures, we're also going to be looking at a lot of humidity as dew points climb up into the 60s to around 70 over this upcoming weekend. So tonight, some patchy fog late, maybe a shower early, lows in the lower 50s. Tomorrow, sun and clouds, maybe an isolated shower or a thunderstorm. My three-degree guarantee for tomorrow is 79. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to the Cribbitaria Food Pantry. And we did that on Saturday. I forecast 64, and the high temperature was 64 degrees. Take a look at your seven-day forecast. Looks like the middle of July, 85 Thursday, 89 Friday, right around 90 Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. That means some spots will get up into the 90s with dew points in the 60s to around 70. By Tuesday, upper 80s to lower 90s. Get ready for the heat wave. It's coming. <laughs>